Hello students, I will continue the 10th chapter in this class. Let's see a question. What is the total price of 5 pence each of price 8 rupees? What is the total price of 5 pence each of price 8 rupees? What is the price of 10 notebook each of price 12 rupees? What is the price of 10 notebook? What is the price of 10 notebook each of 12 rupees? So, price of 1 pen 8 rupees. So, 5 into 8. Price of pen 5 into 8 40 rupees. Price of notebook for one pen, one notebook, twelve rupees for ten notebooks. Price of ten notebooks, ten into twelve is equal to one hundred twenty rupees. Price of one notebook, eight rupees. Price of eight notebooks, we have to multiply five into eight, forty. Here also price of 1 notebook 12 rupees. So price of 10 notebooks 120 rupees. How can we write the relation by using letters? Total price. Total price is equal to price into number of board. Number of so here, how can we say the relation between price of something, the number of bought and total price? So here you can see to get total price we have to multiply price into number of number of bought. So total price we can write as T. So T is equal to price into number of bought. So price we can write as P. Number of bought we can write as N. So, T is equal to P into N. By using letters, we can write like this. Is it clear? To find out N, N is equal to T divided by P. Total by price. To get number of what, we have to divide total price by price. To get price, we have to divide Total price by number of ball. This is the relation between total price, price and number of ball. Is it clear? Let us see multiplication and addition. Ravi has 3, 10 rupees and 1 rupees coin. 3, 10 rupees and 1 rupee coin. Lissi has Lissy has 5 10 rupees and 5 10 rupees and 1 1 rupee coin. Ravi has 3 10 rupees note and 1 rupee coin. Lissy has 5 10 rupees note and 1 rupee coin. How can we write this? How much money does Ravi and Lissy have? Here, 3 10 rupees means 10 3 times plus 1 is equal to 31 rupees. Ravi has 31 rupees. Lissi 5 10 rupees. So, 10 into 5 plus 1 plus 1 rupee coin is equal to 51 rupees. 10 into 5, 50. 50 plus 1, 51 rupees. So, how can we write this by using letters? Number of 10 rupee notes. Number of number of 10 rupee notes. We can write as we can write as T. Number of 10 rupees we can write as T. And number of coins we can write as C. So how can we write this relation? 10. 10 
pen here you can see 3 and 5 is the number of pen rupees notes so number of pen rupees we can write as t so 10 t plus 1 this is koi 1 rupee koi so number of koi is here 1 so we can write here number of coins as c so 10 t plus c like this we can write by using letters is it clear let us see a problem how much money does 8 10 rupee notes and 2 5 rupee notes make 8 10 rupee notes and 2 5 rupee notes make what about 7 10 rupees and 4 5 rupees let us see that 8 10 rupees how can we write that 10 into 8 plus 2 5 rupees 5 into 2 is equal to 10 into 8 80 80 plus 10 90 rupees this one 7 10 rupee notes plus 4 5 rupee notes so 10 into 7 70 5 into 4 20 70 plus 20 is 90 rupees how can we see the relation here you can see this here first we have to multiply 10 into 8 10 rupees notes 8 5 rupees notes 2 first we have to multiply then we have to add this is the relation between number of notes number of notes and total price is it clear look at the second question on that taking the number of 10 rupees notes as t here taking the number of 10 rupees taking the number of 10 rupees as t so we can write here 10 t plus the number of 5 rupees as number of 5 rupees as s so 5 into f 5 f and a total number and a total number as a how can we see the relation a is equal to 10 t plus 5f here number of 10 rupees we have to write as t and here number of 5 rupee notes we have to write here f so 10 a is equal to 10 t plus 5f is it clear? Look at the next question on screen. Addition and multiplication. Let us read the question. Four friends went to buy pens and notebooks. Four friends went to buy pens and notebooks. The price of a pen is 8 rupees and the price of book is 12 rupees. The price of pen is 8 rupees and the price of book is 12 rupees. The shopkeeper calculated like this. You can see that. On screen, price of 4 pens is 8 into 4. 4 friends are there, so 8 into 4 is equal to price of 1 pen, 8 rupees. So, 8 into 4 is equal to 32 rupees. Price of 4 notebooks, 12 into 4 is equal to 48 rupees. 4 friends are there, right? So, 12 into 4 is equal to 48 rupees. Total 80 rupees. Shop, shopkeep, shopkeeper calculated like this. The friends calculated like this. Look at the next one. The amount one has to spend is. The amount one has to spend. 8 plus 12 is equal to 20 rupees. 8 plus 12 is equal to 20 rupees. Total expense 24 times. For one, for one friend, 8 plus 12, 20 rupees. Uh, 20 into 4 is equal to 80 rupees. You can see here two methods. But they got same answer. Let us see another problem. We want to make a rectangle with sticks of length 5 and half and width 3 and half centimeter. What is the total length of the sticks needed? So here we have to find out the perimeter of the rectangle. 
Rectangle has four sides. We already know that rectangle has four sides. So length five and a half centimeter, breadth three and a half centimeter. So here rectangle has four sides. Five and a half, five and a half, three and a half, three and a half. So we have to find out the total length of the sticks needed here. Five and a half plus three and a half plus five and a half plus three and a half is equal to five and a half plus three and a half is equal to five plus three eight half plus half one. So, so nine plus here also. Five plus three, eight. Half plus half plus half, one. So eight plus one, nine. So nine plus nine is equal to eighteen. Eighteen centimeter. Length of the stick needed. Stick needed eighteen centimeter. Otherwise, we can write like this. You can see here two times five and a half, right? So we can write two into. Five and a half plus here also two into three three and a half. So here five five and a half two times eleven. Five two times ten. Half two times one. So ten plus one eleven. Plus here three two times six. Half two times one. So six plus one. Seven. We got here same answer. Eighteen centimeter. Here you can see two methods. Let us write this. Here you can see two. Two into five and a half plus two into three and a half. So this one we can write two into five and a half plus three and a half. So here five and a half plus three and a half is equal to five plus three eight half plus half. One. So eight plus one, nine. So two into two into nine is equal to eighteen centimeter. How can we write this in letters? How can we write this in letters? Here you can see two length. We can write as L. Breadth B. So here total length of, we have to find out total length of the sticks needed. So total length of sticks needed means we have to find out here perimeter. So perimeter is equal to perimeter is equal to two here two into L plus B. We can write like this two into L plus B. Two into L plus B. So perimeter we can write as two into L plus B. This is the easiest method to find out perimeter or total length of all sides. Is it clear? For example, we can quickly calculate the perimeter of a rectangle of length twenty-seven centimeter and breadth forty-three centimeter. So perimeter is equal to Perimeter is equal to two into L plus B. By using this, by using this formula, we can find out the answer. So here two into. We already know that length twenty seven centimeter, breadth forty three centimeter. So twenty twenty seven plus forty three is equal to here twenty seven plus forty three. Seventy. So two into seventy is equal to one hundred forty centimeter. Perimeter of the rectangle is one hundred forty centimeter. Is it clear? Let us see another question related to this. There are twenty-five children in one room and thirty-five in another. Five biscuits are given to each. How many biscuits are needed? So by 
using the same formula we can find out the answer here number of biscuits given to each is 5 so 5 into to find out total biscuits needed we can find out like this 25 25 students in one room and 25 in another so 5 biscuits given to each give to each so 25 plus 35 is equal to 25 plus 35 is equal to 60 so 5 into 60 is equal to 300 biscuits 300 biscuits needed first question what if the number of children is 20 and 40 so here we have to change the number 5 into 20 plus 40 the first question answer so here 20 plus 40 we already know that 60 so 5 into 60 is equal to 300 here also 300 biscuits needed if the number of children 20 and 40 300 biscuits needed here also 300 biscuits needed is it clear now number of children in first room number of children in first room we can write as f can we write this using letters here number of children in first room we can write as f in second room Number of children in second row we can write as yes. So how can we write this second question answer? And total biscuits number of uh, total biscuits we can write as T. Total biscuits we can write as T. So T is equal to here five into T is equal to five into Here, first row we can write as F. Children in second row. Children in first row we can write as F. Children in second row we can write as yes. So five into F plus yes. So here to find out number of children in first and second row we have to write like this. F plus S is equal to T divided by Five. To find out number of children in first and second row, we have to we have to divide total by five. So to find out children in first row, we can write like this: total divided by five minus yes. To find out number of children in second row, we have to write s is equal to Total divided by five minus f. To find out number of children in first and second row, we have to divide total by five. To find out number of children in first row, we have to divide total by five, and we have to minus number of Children in second row. Here, to find out number of children in second row, we have to divide total by five, and we have to minus number of children in first row. Is it clear? What if each is give six biscuit instead of giving five biscuits? So we can write here six into twenty-five plus. 35. We can find out like, uh, like this. So, how can we write this using letters? 6 into f plus yes. To find out f plus yes is equal to is equal to total divided by total divided by 6. Here we have to write 6. Is it clear? Third question. If the number of biscuits gets given to each is taken as b. How can we write the relation? P is equal to here. You 
can see 5. This 5 we have to write as B. So B into F plus S. We can write the relation like this. So here F plus S is equal, is equal to total divided by we have to write here B. This 5 we have to write as B. Next F is equal to T by B minus S. S is equal to T by B minus F. Is it clear? We can write 